It's Sean Dunn and today let's talk about the typologies of high rises. Currently in Malaysia, most of the buildings that are sold right now are usually high-rises. So high-rises is a more in-demand kind of product because of its affordability and locations. However, I figured that this episode might help a lot of first-time buyers in deciding what kind of units or what the hell the salesman is saying. First of all, what you need to know would be studio units. Studio units means units without walls So it's different from a one bedroom, two bedroom kind of setting where a studio unit has only walls around the toilet So it gives you that very open kind of feel because uh, usually studio units are also very small So small units don't necessarily mean they are studio units but they are just units without walls You can have a 900 square feet unit with walls. Then on high-rise units, there are also corner units or intermediate units. Corner units are always at the end or the last part of the corridor where they have actually more sites of openings. That is also called corner units. Duplex unit means in an apartment, right, you can actually have two stories where you can have when you go into your apartment itself, you can also have a staircase to go upstairs and usually that upstairs space will also have an access to the main corridor of the upper level. Loft is usually described as a duplex where there's an open high ceiling area. Usually it's for the dining or for the living space. But sometimes loft is also a term in interior designing which describes the industrial look of a certain space in an apartment itself. Dual key units means uh, a unit that is actually dedicated to be having a different unit to let out, right? So it's actually a separate space or a, it's like a three bedroom plus one small bedroom kind of layout where you can actually have a separate entrance from the main door. So this actually allows the owner to actually let out the unit to compensate with the installment or it's just for my kids or for my parents to have their own privacy. Then there's sometimes these units called the uh, ground unit or the what we call the garden units where in high rises, some high rises, uh, some apartments right, they start from the ground floor. So ground floor you will have that ground, some space where you can actually have gardens. So usually these units are also labeled as garden units where in apartment you have, you have the ground floor unit, it's as if you're living on a landed. Last of all would be penthouse. Penthouse are the highest floor units, right? So the units located at the highest floor where usually, usually there's the most premium ones where it's usually a duplex where the highest floor is always one owner, okay? So those are the most mind-blowing kind of units where it's... Wow. So I think that's all for this round of typology. I hope this will actually guide you further when you go inquire about high rises or your, for your next property. So until next time, this is Sean Tan. I will see you guys soon. Share this video if you really like it though.